What if a fan would spin at light speed? Would it create the biggest storm ever, or maybe even completely end life on Earth? Let's find out. Light speed means the tips of the fan blades would travel at nearly 300 million meters per second. At that speed, the blades would instantly rupture and melt under the insane centrifugal forces. But what if they didn't? Let's imagine we've built an indestructible fan and connected it to a power source capable of providing the immense energy required. How much energy, you ask? At nearly the speed of light, the fan would need around 400 quadrillion joules of energy per second, or 400 quadrillion watts to spin. That's 20,000 times more energy than the entire world produces in a second, which is only 20 trillion joules. For perspective, this fan would consume the output of every power plant on Earth and still demand more. But now, what will happen if we turn this thing on? The blades interact with the air molecules around them, but they're moving so fast that normal air resistance doesn't apply anymore. Instead, the blades smash into air molecules, releasing so much energy that they break apart into plasma and emit high-energy radiation like X-rays and gamma rays. The fan would glow with a blinding intensity, emitting enough energy to heat the surrounding atmosphere to well over a million degrees Celsius. This triggers the creation of a rapidly expanding fireball of plasma. So the fan wouldn't just circulate air. This is Jeff. He really likes his new home, which happens to be 100 meters away from the fan. But 50 milliseconds after we turned on that fan, his house disappeared. And so did Jeff. This is because the sphere of plasma expands at well above the speed of sound. Now, would it create the biggest storm ever? Not quite. The fan would create a fireball rather than a massive storm, and while it's not likely to wipe out the entire planet, as the fan can't spin for a long time, it would certainly destroy everything within a large radius. In short, your light speed fan wouldn't cool you down on a hot summer day. So, what's the moral here? Stick to your regular fan. It's quieter, safer, and doesn't vaporize your house.